Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. Alright, welcome to the video. Today we are going to look at Joao Ruas. Hopefully I said that right. Joao. Joao Ruas. I'm going to go to slideshow mode. Um, so, I first discovered his work online, man, maybe 8 to 10 years ago. He didn't have a lot of work online. There was just a few pieces. But they were exceptionally awesome. Um, and uh, when we get to them, I'll point them out if I see them. Uh, his work reminded me a little bit of James Jean, but a little bit darker at the time. And, uh, yeah, this dude is bad to the bone. b b b, -b, -b <laughs> He's amazing. These will be uh, a little clearer as we move along. These are some early pieces. Uh, this is all off Instagram. Uh, some tools of the trade. Yeah, I mean, everything he kind of draws is sort of magical and very, very beautifully rendered. There's usually a lot of value involved, and uh, he goes online by Feral Kid a lot of the time, so uh, you may have seen his work that way. I would I would always try to revisit his work based on his name, and I could never remember how to spell it. And, um, oh my god, I would like look through my folders trying to find like that one guy's stuff. <laughs> and uh, anyway, but someone had requested this, so I thought today, we'll start out today, we're going to do this. Uh, and then later this afternoon, we're going to actually look at Arthur Adams' um, comic book storytelling. So I'm going to go out to my storage and grab some books that Art did that are actually, uh, you know, comics. So this is really nice. Again, the it, like, everybody, this was so popular for a while. It probably still is in, like, art schools. But, like, people would fill these mole, moleskin sketchbooks with these just insane illustrations. Um, and, uh, yeah, it made sketchbooks sort of have a completely different, uh, meaning <laughs> than your doodle book. That's really nice. I sketching at the airport. Microns. What, what? What is that? He's got the mono zero. Interesting. I use the Oren Zero. Actually, you know what? No, no. I, yeah, Quarantine or qu Quarantine uses the same pencil that I do. That's nice. Look at all those sketchbooks. That's what I'm talking about. These guys are sketching fools. I mean that in a positive way, not like literally fool. Um, that's cool. Yeah, his stuff is uh, surreal. It's um, usually. A lot of the pieces kind of are um, like blending um, different things. Just look at the hands there. So amazing. If you like this, you may like Miles Johnson too, but just about everybody follows Miles, I think, now. He's pretty good at uh, social media. These are great. I love the black hands. It's got kind of a Phil Hale vibe with the, that sort of pose, the, the position of the hand. This is nice. Oh man, it's crazy. This could be pretty small. Look at the hands, how they're rendered. Man, that is great. That subtle value really, really makes those hands look legit. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh wow. Uh, this is small. He actually does murals on walls, so occasionally he'll do really, really big pieces that... Uh, um, you know, he paints on walls. Oh, that's cool. Man. He's really good at... Um, they, what they do is they put this sh shadow underneath their pieces. I'll, I'll show it to you when I see it. And it lifts the um, image out more. And it makes it really, really interesting. It's kind of a... I mean, I see Phil, Phil Hale uses it. And um, uh, Jeremy Geddes? Geddes? I don't know how he says his last name. This is really nice. Super elegant. Someone had also requested Vanya. I have the Vanya book, so at some point I'll definitely break that out. I know there's a lot of people that are into, like the Aaron Horky, Vanya, this, you know, this guy, and others, so. Like he visited, oh man, that's so awesome. Look at that. It's just so beautifully done. Oh, 
Oh man, that's cool. You can see how rock solid this guy's um, illustration skills are. These are really, really just nice, nice figures with really, really good form. It looks like he uses like maybe like a little bit of vellum, you know, like he does his sketches, goes over them with vellum and stuff like that, and transfers them. So it's cool to see. That's really interesting. Man, that's so awesome. That's great. This is cool. I don't think that's his work. Yeah, this is just... It's nice. <laughs> oh, man. Is that Mignola? I wonder if this is his piece. It looks a little Mignola, but it's hard to say. Oh, man. See, this is the stuff that I remember early on that he would do. Oh, so good. Look at that. See these heavy shadows, though, that he puts in, but they're very smooth. It really, really um, pushes the form. It gives it a really nice three-dimensional feel. My cat is talking to me. You probably can't hear it because I'm, I'm on a microphone today. A microphone. That is pretty crazy. Man, that's so cool. That fish is great. This is nice. Somewhere I have my folder of all the stuff that I saved of his back when he was actually like not as known. It was a long time ago. It was definitely it was way before Instagram. Repinograph. I know that pen. See, this is 2014, and this is like I consider this later work. He. I wonder if he goes back and breaks out any of his early pieces. It's always fun to see the tools that different artists use. This is so great. That smooth shading. Smooth. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool, too. Yeah, try to hit a variety of stuff. I mean, I'm a big fan of illustration and fine art, so... um. You know, looking at stuff like this is quite enjoyable for me. Hopefully it doesn't alienate too many people. It's nice. Yeah, it's really cool. He's great with hands. He really, really owns it. That's a crazy hand right there. This is neat. Oh yeah, that's cool. Hello, horsey. Oh man, that's crazy. He looks like he's a scientist. Some man, that is awesome. It's amazing that people can render this much value in like detail. It looks so intense. It just looks so complicated, right? It's just like little dabs of wash just built up and built up and built up. So, so this would be probably the transfer of a sketch that he did, and he's either transferring it. Oh, he's going to do a mural. He's got a thing here. So this is part of a mural. Okay, yeah. That's cool. Again, more crazy sketchbook stuff. <laughs> That's really cool. Shouldn't be a super long video, but like I said, I'm, I'm doubling up right now, so you will definitely get the Arthur Adams video later today. I'm, I'm working digitally um, on Iron Maiden, so if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a shot of me on the Cintiq. Uh, inking, but I'm going to ink at home for the next few days. Or, well, I always ink at home, but 
I'm not going to run out to the printer and stuff like that. It's been recommended in my city that we actually just stay in. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen a nailing piece from him. I don't know what these are. Trees? Pipes? Oh, I think it must be tubing, like, on a ship or something. Oh, the kitty. That's so good. Interesting. I might actually, if this video ends too soon, I may go and grab my other folder and we'll we'll slap some more of this guy's stuff on it because I'm not seeing a lot of the early pieces, which are actually very cool. I have a nice collection of it. I'm quite diligent if I get into an artist and I will find just about everything that they've done. <laughs> it's like the internet was my playground for that. But I haven't done that in a long time. I don't have the time anymore, but back in the Dizay. <laughs> I'm pretty psycho. You kind of have to be to do what I do. Because it's such an obsessive thing. And it's so time consuming. You can't sort of limp in to art. I always tell this story. But when, when I was... Uh, I've probably been working professionally for maybe two or three years. But I had read this thing that Norman Rockwell said. Where it was like he would never take a day off and was like if it was christmas he couldn't wait to like get out and work and you know like just he always was working and if even if he took a day off he would always end up working and that's pretty much been me for the last like 20 years i never take a day off that's really really cool man it's beautiful man that's so sick i love this this little sort of charcoal -y thing he's got going on. It's nice too. That's cool. Ooh. Yeah, his material is so great. This dude is like, he's such a badass. That's cool too. His palette. That is so awesome. Those are some nice colors in there too. So look, there's his workspace. It's quite modest, I would say. It's got all of his supplies and, and the skull of his enemy. <laughs> oh, I want to go back and see the lighting. So I wonder if that's the only light that he has on his desk. That's nuts. Hmm. I have a lamp here that goes hangs like this over my desk I have another lamp here and my drafting table is literally like two feet longer and probably another foot back <laughs> it's huge it's got drawers I've had it my whole career honestly I got it before I broke in so I still use the same desk at home yeah I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna search an external hard drive and I'm gonna stack more art on this video I'm not seeing a lot of my favorite early pieces in here. It's cool. Man, his pencil touches is so pristine. That's really cool. That's nice design. Oh, man. Yeah. He did some early pieces with, like, cattle and bulls and stuff. They're so good. I'll have to find those. That's nice. Man, that's so good. Look at that. Sexy. This is all really good. That's great, too. Dude, this guy's such a baller. <laughs> Man, that's so cool. Oh, baby. Hey, he was wearing an Iron Maiden shirt. I'm working on Iron Maiden. We're like besties, me and that baby. It's amazing that a kid that young could be into Maiden. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is really cool. Thin red line. I've never seen this piece. That's great. Yeah, it's nice. 
Man, that's creepy. I'm glad we. I'm actually really glad we did this. This is a nice change of pace. That's cool. Of the layout. Uh, yeah, the one that he picked is definitely better. Although I'm sure he went down a great job. That's so nice, man. Oh man, that is so cool. No idea what pen that is. This looks like a micron or multi liner. Man, look at the varnish on that thing. It's crazy. I'm going to wrap this video up and I'm going to go find that other stuff. Oh, we'll go back to this. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I want to find his earliest stuff. So we're right at the end of this gallery. Okay, let me pause this for a sec.